here. Awesome. It's great. How was your first workout? Oh, it was uh, it was intense. You know, legs are burning. I uh, felt muscles we haven't felt in a few years. A few years. Quite a few years. <laughs> so tell me a little bit of each. Of each of you take a few minutes and tell me about yourself. Let's start with you. I'm Rula Gardner. Uh, I was an Olympic uh, gold medalist, born and raised in Afton, Wyoming. Uh, 2000 gold medalist at the Olympics in Sydney. And then 2004 bronze medalist. And uh, we actually, uh, me and Justin are uh, health club. Uh, we own, we're uh, owners of a health club in uh, Logan, Utah. And uh, I get to travel and do more missions speaking. I'm a phys ed teacher by trade. And I get to go out and talk to a lot of kids about goal setting and believing in themselves and making a change. And I'm here to make a change. Hi, my name is Justin Pope. I'm in my, uh, obviously, I'm a partner in the gym with the Rhythm. Um, I have quite a few other hats. Probably some of my problems I'm so concerned about. I think, you know, I work for the city. I'm a bail I'm a county company on party businesses. And, you know, for me, it's it's all about work, and that's what I do is a lot of work. But uh, uh, I've got a great wife, I have two kids, a 12 year old daughter, and a 10 year old boy. Happy you're here. Very, very excited. How did you guys meet and start your business together? Which is a gym, right? Okay, how did that happen? Well, we, uh, Justin beat me in junior high wrestling, so uh, I never had a chance to beat him after he beat me. He was a year younger in school, so, you know, all those years, all that turmoil has been brewing in me, so I'm waiting for my chance to rematch. So, so there's some history um, there. <laughs> little, you're little bit of history you know, since the 80s, so we're living back way back when we don't have to push each other. There's a little, you know. There's a little bit, you know. We don't really make it all physical. Maybe it's a little mental now. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we uh, we did that. I started uh, working on the process of building my health club uh, back in uh, 2004, 2005, and I finally uh, got it almost done. And I, I couldn't finish it because of the economy. And Justin stepped in, and we became partners, and uh, we got the club done. And he's he's been probably the, the biggest godsend to help me get the you know, the club up and running because. Without him, I don't think it would ever happen. Yeah. So I know that you, uh, you're an Olympic gold medalist, and so how do you think you put on the weight? How much weight have you gained since, yeah. since the day you got the medal? Since the day, the gold medal has 286, but uh, the bronze medal has 265. And, you know, when I weighed 265 pounds, I had to cut down from a little under 300. And so, you know, I was already cutting weight there. And the, the day that I won the bronze medal at the Olympics, I thought, you know, I thought, your life's over, you'll never step, step on a scale ever again. You know, live, you know, live life and enjoy, you know, take a year, two years off and, and just enjoy. And little I allowed, did, Little did you know you'd be on the biggest loser scale. You no, know, I, I, I allowed myself to, to really lose track of what I was doing and finally got to a point where I just, I, I couldn't look in the mirror and I couldn't say, you know what, you know, you live in this horrible, horrific lifestyle, you need to change, you know, the snacks and, you know, all those years, the training was allowing me to be able to live those unhealthy eating habits and now they're finally catching up. What about you? Have you ever been an athlete? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I played high school sports, I wrestled in college, I actually wrestled in the same junior college and whatnot, and, and you know, that's a lot where my weight problem came to, is, you know, I was active enough that I could do whatever I wanted. Even through life, I've kind of been able to be active. My problem is that I just allow myself to lie to myself about, you know, hey, you know, it's all right, you don't need to learn how to read labels on, on uh, chip bags, you don't need to learn how to count calories, because you can still do what you need to do, you know. We're, we're both big, strong, athletic guys. Even now, we do, and we're able to accomplish most everything we set our mind to. The ones we can't, we just don't do. But everything else, you know, we, we can still do a lot of physical things that, you know, guys in shape can't do. We can still do them. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's learning not to live a lie for me. So with you both, you come here, your first workout, you live to tell about it. What do you guys think about the new twist with the new trainers? You've obviously watched the show before. You know Bob and Jill. What do you guys think of the new twist? I like it. You like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about it? Just you like it? Well, I, you know, being a, being a coach and a motivator myself, I, I, I always feel like, you know, there's somebody else that, that has a different way to push you and a different way to go. You know, I always feel like there's a meaner dog in the cage, you know? <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. So is one of them a meaner dog? Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it? Well, I think, uh, you know, it, it, it's, you know, strengths in, in both, you know, 
aspects of you know having you know the, the regular you know that everybody knows and having the unknown and you know, you know we want you know to go out and push ourselves at every opportunity and no matter if it's with a trainer or if it's by ourselves you know we believe that as soon as we understand the keys and the tools and our parameters that we can push ourselves like nobody else because that's you know being athletes like we are and so now it's a matter of, of getting the, the tools and the keys first workout was great you know then it's like okay you know this hasn't hurt in years <laughs> You know, my muscles have never done this before, and so then you have to put those things in place. And if you can, it gives you a foot, you know, a stepping stool to go out there and move forward with your life and, and make the changes. And, and we, we've made that step. You know what? We're, we're willing to come on TV. We're willing to come out here and stand up and say, we're here. We're here to make the change today. That's great. And so do you guys think being athletes and, and in the wrestling, that gives you an advantage? losing the weight and knowing how to drop it? Um, for me, no, because I have so much muscle mass still. I, you know, I hadn't lifted weights in six years and I could still squat over four, or squat almost 500 pounds. I could still bench over 400. And I actually, bench me? <laughs> you're light for me. So, you know, I, you know, for me, you know, it's no big deal to go out and, and pick up, you know, the other day I picked up Justin, he's 300, you know, 60 pounds. You know, and I pick him up like it's, like it's nothing. Yeah. Because that's the way I train it. So for me, I'm going to have all that extra muscle mass that I have to deal with. Okay. What about you? Manage? Oh, definitely. I think there's advantage, you know. I've, I've been to the place before that they've taken me now, you know. And uh, I know what it feels like. I know when I reach that place that I've done everything in my power to do it. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't scare me you know, to, to go there. And I'm, I'm willing to work for it again. So which one of you is going to win? <laughs> <laughs> I've already won in my life, I feel, so, you know, maybe it's his turn, but uh, he'll have to wait and determine, you know, but there's no way I ever quit on myself, I'll tell you that much. I, you know, I think we're both going to push each other right. to the end, you know. You know, we're, yeah, we're teammates, we're friends, you know, we're partners, we, you know, we understand, we know each other's thoughts, you know, it's funny. You know, I think you, I think you'll see it when you when you watch the challenges and stuff like that. You know, we are competitive, yeah. not with everybody else, but with each other also. And, and that's what fires you guys be. up. Yeah. So if one of you wins, the other one will definitely be at home one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, I know I'm looking forward to, and I know America's looking forward to seeing you guys uh, bring it home. And it was a pleasure interviewing you guys. Can't wait to see it.